Turning now to traffic on our local waterways. Many boaters will be out and about this weekend. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean rode along with Fish and Wildlife as officers were performing safety checks. I'm here with Officer Trevor Hostler right now. We're out on Drewlington Creek and uh, uh, Officer, take us through what the checklist is for what is required on everyone's vessel. Absolutely, so every vessel that's in between that 16 and 26 foot range is required to have a type four throwable device, a PFD for every person on board, a fire extinguisher and a horn bell or a whistle. In the event of an emergency, you want people to be able to hear you, you want people to be able to see you, you want to be able to put out any fires that might occur, and you want everybody to be able to stay afloat. Absolutely, and and that brings up a good point, being able to see you if you're in uh, high seas or a coastal waterway, stuff like that, it is required that you have flares on the vessel as well. All of these items are legally required to be on your boat when you leave the dock. And it's something FWC and other water agencies check when they make stops. We were with Officer Hostler when he performed a safety inspection on this boat. Oh, there they are. Perfect. And I see your type 4 throwable. The only thing I'm missing is a fire extinguisher and a horn bell or a whistle. So it's a PFD for every person on board. Uh, children under 6 must be wearing their PFD. A type 4 throwable device, a fire extinguisher, a horn bell or a whistle. And that's it. Perfect. You're good to go. Awesome, awesome. This boat Thank passed with flying colors. Yep. But if it were after sundown or if there were fog, rain, or low visibility, boaters are also required to have navigational lights and have them on. All of this aiming to prevent boating injuries or deaths in the state, both of which saw an uptick last year. If you want to find more information on what you are required to have and then what's recommended on your boat, you can go to myfwc.com or find the information on our website, newsforjax.com. Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.